Here at Panther 4 News, we would like to thank all our firefighters, policemen, as well as servicemen and women who put their lives on the line for our freedom. Good morning and welcome to Panther 4 News. Today is September 9th, 2016. I'm Josh Otero with your latest school news. And I'm Corbett Raker with your Panther 4 Sports Report. The Scholars Club will have a mandatory meeting September 12th in E204 from 150 to 350, and everyone should have transportation home. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Rainwater. Whether you are a student, educator, parent, or principal, you can find a way to celebrate the arts in education during National Arts in Education Week. The arts are an essential part of a complete education, no matter if it happens in the home, school, or community. Students of all ages, from kindergarten to college to creative aging programs, benefit from artistic learning, innovative thinking, and creativity. Celebrating National Arts and Education Week is a way to recognize this impact and share the message with friends, family, and communities. Any juniors or seniors waiting to participate in the Power Puff game as players or as male cheerleaders must see Mr. Zimmerman in E111 to pick up forms. No forms, no play. Club Rush will be in the cafeteria all three lunch waves. Find out about clubs here at Cyprus and register to vote. Good morning, Cyprus. It's Jay Jackson here with their Panther 4 News Report, and I'm here to tell you to get involved. CLHS sports and clubs and activities are always advertising. Let's take a look. There are many different types of activities like college night, be a buddy, or even the swim team. All this and more will be introduced to you on Club Rush on Friday. Thank you, Cyprus. Have a nice day. Cypress Lake High School would like to remember the attacks that occurred on September 11, 2001. Before the attack, America never expected anything this drastic to occur. What happened on that faithful day struck fear and anxiety into our hearts. On September 11, 2001, at 7.45 a.m. on a clear Tuesday morning, an American Airlines Boeing 767 loaded with 20,000 gallons of jet fuel crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. 3,000 people perished that day. We remember because it changed us forever. The firefighters that responded were also affected with 343 killed in the fires. This Sunday marks the 15th anniversary of the event that changed America forever. Today I'm here with one of the teachers who was a student at Cyprus during this event. Can you tell me a little bit about what you remember from that day? Well, I was a freshman here and um, I remember walking into my math class and the news was on and at that time it was when the first plane had hit the t uh, first tower and we really didn't understand what was happening at that point so my math teacher said you know let's turn that off and we focused on our work and by the next period we had realized what was the magnitude of what was happening 9-11 is a day that we'll always remember. It was very heartfelt, but it also brought people together and made our country feel like a very tight-knit community. This is Dr. Mackenzie Wallace, and I'd like to thank all the first responders who helped with the victims of 9-11. As somebody who was in New York uh, when 9-11 happened, I can certainly appreciate all the effort and the hard work that all the first responders and the firefighters and the police had to put in that day. Um, I was a teacher back then and I remember us being in school until every kid was picked up that day so it was a really long day. It was a really really sad and strange time in New York so uh, I'm thankful you know when I think back on that of like how the city came together and how the people rallied around each other to really help one another and, and, and support one another during a really really tough and challenging time. College Night 2016 is on September 20th at the Harborside Event Center in the Fort Myers River District. Now is the time to purchase your yearbook. From now until September 30th, the cost is the lowest it will be all year at $60. You can purchase your yearbook in the library from Ms. Atkinson or online at jostensyearbooks.com. Seniors, personal ads in the yearbook are on sale now. Tell your parents. They are 20% off until September 30th. See Ms. Atkinson for more information. Seniors, very soon, we will start collecting senior baby pictures. There will be a box in the media center soon to drop off your baby pictures. These pictures will be put in this year's senior video. Start finding your picture and choose wisely. Helping Hands is now doing their annual Salvation Army food drive. This event goes through September 30th. If you have any questions, see Ms. Vanetta in E103. 
the math team will have their first international meeting Tuesday, September 13th. Please meet in Ms. Gleason's room E213 from 150 to 220. You will need a way home at 220. Hope to see you there. Both bowling teams came up short yesterday against Riverdale. For the girls, the high score was a 128 by junior Mackenzie Dahman. And for the guys, the highest score was a 213 by your very own. The, Fort, the football team will face Fort Myers on the road starting at 730 tonight. If you are a baseball player or looking to play fall ball, please come and see Coach Little in room W151 or Coach Ficaro in W163 ASAP for any information. The boys' golf team defeated Lavelle yesterday but lost to Ida Baker. Freshman Trevor Humphreys had an outstanding performance. Something happened all those years ago. Something happened, but we didn't know because we were so young or not even born. And when we, we were told at seven or eight that something had happened all those years ago, we began to realize how much America's heart had been broken. In a New York City elementary classroom one year after 9-11, Students composed the following 9-11 poem. A relative of their teacher had perished on that tragic day in Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. The loved one that died, I had left behind a three-year-old. Here are the list of don't forgets and remembers that the students wrote that day. eight years old now. Before September 11th, we would wake up with a list of don't forgets. Don't forget to wash your face. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to do your homework. Don't forget to wear your jacket. Don't forget to clean your room. Don't forget to take a bath. After September 11th, we wake up with a list of remembers. Remember to greet the sun each morning. Remember to enjoy every meal. Remember to thank your parents for their hard work. Remember to honor those who keep you safe. Remember to value each person you meet. Remember to respect others' beliefs. Now we are nine years old. This Sunday, day after tomorrow, marks the day and 15 years since the attacks on America in New York City, in Washington, and in the skies over Pennsylvania. We honored the memory of all those we lost when America's heart was broken all those years ago. On behalf of everyone here at Panther 4 News, we would like to thank all our servicemen, policemen, and firefighters. I'm Corbett Raker. I'm Josh Otero. Have a great day, Cypress.